Okay, hello everyone. Um, time for an end of month update. Uh, it's the end of January and I've made a little bit of progress on the projects that I mentioned last time. Um, these are my Warmaster Ancients Imperial, Imperial Romans. Um, not much progress has been done on these. Um, I did base this unit. Haven't got around to the others yet. Um, I've painted up everything I own so far for these um, and there's obviously some gaps I still need to paint up I think 27 more um, individual models I don't have those yet so I've, I've put an order in uh, these are from Steve Barber models by the way and get some focus um, but that order still hasn't come in yet um, with that order I also um, ordered some co uh, command pack to allow me to build up to the minimum requirement you have for an Imperial Roman army uh, in Warmaster Ancients. You need four units of legionaries and then a command, uh, general as a minimum for a, an army. Um, that comes to like 400 and 445 points I think. So it's quite a substantial amount of points to sink into just these kind of core minimum requirement uh, units but that just goes to show how kind of str uh, strong they are in the game um, I decided I'm going to build this army and the opposing Germanic barbarians up to 500 points each and then kind of take a break there and then come back and build them up to maybe 750 or a thousand in a kind of slow grow league style kind of escalation league um, so for the 500 points for the Romans um, in that same order I dropped in I think it's two scorpion bolt throwers so that will give me um, 495 points um, and quite a solid army you know this is this isn't the most flexible army you know it's solid it's an elite unit elite force but um, really it needs some mobility or some ways to control kind of the opposition's movement a bit so I figured a, a bot throw would give me that to kind of try out a bit of artillery um, see how much it, control it actually gives me whether I do need to get some um, cavalry or archers or something to support uh, but for now that would be my 500 points for these um, see on these this first unit I have base this is with Vallejo's earth texture uh, textured paint and it is a bit of a pain to get in but I think it's okay there's obviously some little bits like here that are just uncovered um, but I'm going to dry brush the basing and then probably just use tufts on them to kind of around the outside and maybe through the middle just to give a bit of color um, I'm not sure, I'll wait and see I think until I've painted the rest of the force um, and get that done. Um, but yeah, that's Warmaster Ancients right now. I have also got a few um, of the Germanic Barbarians to get started on. Uh, this will be my next project to kind of follow along um, for Warmaster. Don't know when I'm going to get those started though, probably soon. Um, we shall see. Uh, but that's Warmaster. That's Warmaster update. Let's put them back there. Um, the other project I've started on is my terminal chain of command, um, early war French. I put this on this book. Um, I've got quite far actually. In the time between me ordering um, the Steve Barber models and now, uh, they still haven't arrived. So. I've managed to paint up majority, about 90% of uh, the early war French platoon for Chain of Command. This is for the Gemblo Gap mini campaign. Um, and these are, let me focus if I can. These are the riflemen, so 24 riflemen. These are tiny. Um, These are quite 
simple to paint. Um, they are small. Let me get some more focus. Um, but when you get the kind of, you get your eye into the details, you know, these backpacks and things, and the the webbing and strapping across the shoulders and chest and so on. Yeah, you, know, you get into the get into the rhythm of painting them, and they're quite nice. Apologies for the wobbly camera. I don't know what's up with my tripod at the moment. Um, I have gone for a kind of high contrast, simplistic paint scheme on these, obviously due to the size, but also when they're on the table, I don't want them to be kind of just muddy and brown all over. I think it'd be very easy to, for them to fall into that trap. So I've kept them kind of high contrast. Uh, again, I'm not sure what to do with the bases on these. I'll probably use the basing and the bases themselves as part of the identification of the um, model types. So, you know, leaders will not only have maybe a different colour base edge, but they will have some tufts of a different colour or something along those lines. Um, but we shall see. Um, so that's the rifleman I've prepared. I do have, um, which I did last night, three. These are VB grenadiers. So these are the kind of rifle grenadiers um, done up. The grenades on the end of the rifles, I don't think they're bright silver in, in reality. Um, but again, I just kind of wanted that high contrast to make them stand out um, a bit more on the table so I can identify what they are really quickly. On top of these, I also have, uh, we've got the leaders, a kind of, there we go, let's move all this backwards. I have the leaders that I need. So junior leaders are all going to be this same, um, this same look. So it doesn't matter then which unit they're with. I just kind of make sure the right status leader is in the right place and then there's a senior inferior leader and then I think for my senior leader I'm going to actually combine these two guys onto one base it might throw me out with the kind of numbers but I don't think so um, but they look like more like they're casually kind of overseeing the, the, the fight rather than actually being involved um, so these still need to be um, highlighted back up, they've just been base coated and washed and I've got the LMG teams maybe they're too, too muddy and brown at the moment to kind of take the detail probably but so it's the gunner and loader combo um, on top of that, this, this will give me um, the core platoon, this is everything you need for the platoon. So this has been painted in maybe two weeks, just under. Um, and that's the entire force you need, the kind of core, core force, get you playing the games. So I'm really happy with the kind of speed of getting this up and ready for the table. Um, the bone chain of command, your platoon can also take support choices. And there's a big long list you can take. Um, some of them are Things you don't need models for, some of them are kind of emplacements and entrenchments and so on. Um, but some of the ones you do need models for, I have as well. I've got a mortar team, I shan't zoom in on those, but one mortar team, an MMG team with, with uh, five crew. I think this one has five crew in the end. And the one I have painted up, uh, an armoured car. I think this is the Panhard, I think it's called. I've done this fairly simple um, striped camo. So the light on this is terrible. For this, I think I'll just do some edge highlighting just to pick out some more details. But I'm happy with this, how this has turned out. There you go, that's a good angle. Um, so again, that's not used every, every game, but gives you options with all support choices. Um, but that's enough for the French to kind of get me started and, and give me some options when I get playing. Um, obviously the next step for Chain of Command is the Blitzkrieg Germans. So I've got two German projects on the go next, the Barbarians and then the Blitzkrieg Germans. Um, those as well are on order. That's my kind of February budget spent on those, uh, along with I think one or two 
support choices for those as well. Um, 10 mil is, is clicking with me. I kind of like it. It's kind of uh, not too overwhelming. Um, I like to see the progress on things very visibly. Uh, so I'm kind of happy with that. I am going to, when these armies are finished, I will, I will do a kind of showcase, but I also want to kind of discuss the how much do they cost me, what kind of wastage there was, what leftovers there are, any thoughts I've had during the process. Um, just in case they're useful to other people, I've seen a lot of people do 10 mil like Napoleonics and kind of larger projects, um, but don't really go into the kind of detail of how much they've cost, how much, you know, how much time was saved over painting a, a 28 mil equivalent or did they have, did they do things that they really regretted doing? They'd rather have, rather have stuck with a different uh, scale, those kind of things. So um, I'm going to try and reflect on these projects as I get through them. I have been thinking about lining up some more 10 mil things to do afterwards. Um, I really think this is going to be an ongoing experiment for this year. I'll try and build up a number of 10 mil armies that will allow me to play a lot of different games. So. Uh, we'll see, see where that goes um, but I am enjoying it so far I hope you, you lot, uh, like what you see and yeah, any questions or anything let me know and I'll get back to you guys I uh, hope everyone's well and I will speak to you in another video soon